This is Matthew Towerini from World Baseball Network here at the Italia send-off dinner. Right beside me is relief pitcher of the Seattle Mariners, Matthew Festa. Matt, how does it feel to be here in Scottsdale, Arizona? Um, very lucky. I'm fortunate to be a part of this this great team, and um, I'm excited to see what we can do in the World Baseball Classic. And going up against really tough competition come Pool A, I mean, the Netherlands, Chinese Taipei, Panama, and also Cuba, what's it going to be like facing the, those tough countries in the baseball world? Um, they're definitely tough competition. Um, I'm excited for just the ability to kind of show our strength. I think not only myself, but the rest of the guys that are on this team have the ability to really throw some zeros up and uh, be a really good pitching staff that can shock a lot of people. And during this offseason, how did it just felt regaining what you showed up in the postseason, let alone you guys had a great season just coming into that wild card stint and playing Houston? What is just the momentum to just carry on with your mechanics for the major league season? I mean, you hit the nail on the head. Like, it carried over. I probably took maybe three weeks off with throwing, gave myself a good amount of time of rest, but... By the time we were in Italy with the team traveling, I was throwing as well, um, kind of just trying to sharpen the sword and getting ready to compete again, especially at this moment. It's a little bit earlier. It's spring training, but I want to be primed and ready to go for the World Baseball Classic as well. And what was it like being at the Mission Classic a few months ago? I mean, everyone's learning their heritage and yeah. let alone just the, the background of baseball growing in Italy. What is just the biggest push from the Italian-American Baseball Foundation to just keep having that bridge um, in Italy? Uh, it was super special. It was my first time overseas, and um, it was just amazing to be engulfed in the culture. They taught us so much. Like I thought I knew what it was like to be an Italian-American, but to be an Italian in Italy is a completely different lifestyle, and you learn to cherish it, and I'm, I'm proud to represent that country. And how has it been with just having Mike Piazza giving you guys advice to just sponge in? I mean, he's played in the World Baseball Pass in 2006, coached for Italy, um, they co did the honkball. He coached the honkball tournament last year out in Rotterdam. What is just the advice that he has given to the staff um, during the last few months? The, the advice is simple. It's based on family, respect, you know, uh, just knowing your brother out there, being a team out there is the most important part. So that's why it was so important to pull all our guys out and do the Mission Classic and get us out there because we became best friends out there for that short amount of time. And now we're here at this dinner getting prepared to fly out and it's kind of just like we never left like we just picked right off we sat at the table and we like we felt like we were back in Italy again and how is how is it going to be with I mean you guys are carrying so much talent Nikki Lopez Vinny Pascantino the Fletchers Dominic and David what's it going to be like to just be with all those guys once once first pitch gets it going in Taiwan a lot of confidence you know you, you just trust the guys behind you you're gonna throw strikes. You're gonna you're gonna pass the bat. You're gonna go through the lineup. Like it's a lot of young talent and a lot of hungry guys. Guys that want to make a name for themselves and guys that you know this team isn't as flashy as USA or Venezuela or Dominican. But like, mm -hmm. don't count us out. We're gonna we're gonna shock some people for sure. Yeah, this is a great evening. I must say, like first time that I've seen a lot of group of guys I mean this is right out of the gate you guys are just getting the chemistry going yeah. for this dinner and now you guys are going to be boarding a 14-hour flight soon so <laughs> how's that going to hold up what's the biggest uh, transition I don't know have? the biggest transition will be like you know we're going to land at like 9 30 p.m the next day and it's like yeah. if you don't sleep on that flight like you're going to wake up and it's going to be nighttime like I don't know how it's going to happen but I did a flight to Japan in 2019 we opened up the season in Japan and Tokyo mm -hmm. And we kind of were structured like a sleep schedule on the plane to get us prepared for that time zone tr difference. Mm -hmm. um, so I've definitely dealt with it, but it should be a, it's a new challenge for sure. I'm excited. How was playing in that opening day? I mean, the magnitude of Ichiro Suzuki getting a standing ovation for just two games playing on that opening day. What is it just like to just see the baseball co culture overseas? The culture is beautiful. It's a, it's a completely different style of fan appreciation. Uh, the way the fan base is structured, you know, they're beating the drums when they're their, their team's up to bat, and when their team's pitching, they're dead silent. They're letting the team focus, the home team focus. So it was a really different culture, but so much love for the game. And it's so cool going, getting to go over there and just to understand, that like, hey, they appreciate baseball just as much as we do over here, almost to a different level. So it's, it's really exciting to get to experience both cultures. All right, well, send-off dinner, Team Italy, Scottsdale, Arizona. What can I say? I'm with 
right-handed pitcher Matthew Festa for the Seattle Mariners, going to suit up for Team Italy in Pool A of the World Baseball Classic. My name is Matthew Talrini from World Baseball Network.